Hi guys, welcome to Love Voltero. My name is David and today we're going to be doing a quick little holiday special for you guys. We're going to draw three cards. I have a special guest here for Christmas with a Christmas hat. It's Wish Bear from the Care Bears. Wish Bear is going to be granting any of your wishes, okay? Uh, we're going to be doing three cards, guys. Like I said, we're going to start off with your situation that you're going through. Then we're going to be doing any obstacle with the second card and then an advice card to end with the reading. Okay, guys, we're going to do a quicker shuffle this time. I'm going to split the deck for each sign and then I'm going to draw three cards, guys, and then we're going to go through. You can skip through to your actual zodiac sign down in the info with the markers and then you'll get your actual reading. Okay, guys, we're going to start off with Aries. Then we're going to finish with Pisces. Let's begin. I hope you guys are having a nice holiday with your family and staying safe. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. What messages does the universe have in store? What do we need to know for Aries for their situation right now? Let's cut the deck, guys, and let's begin. So your first card for your situation will be the Ten of Wands. Okay, guys, that's your situation. We're going to get through it in a second. Then the next card we have for your obstacle is the Page of Swords, guys. Okay. And then your third card for your advice here is going to be the Three of Pentacles in reverse, guys. All right. So we have our cards down. Let's go over what we have here for you, Aries. It looks like for your situation, a lot of you guys are a little bit overworked. Maybe you've put in a lot of effort over the holidays to get things done, okay? Or maybe a lot of you guys have been working really hard. That's your situation here. Uh, you're not really at the point of burnout yet, but it's definitely possible. And this is something, Aries, you should be aware of, okay? Putting too much work into things, not having enough uh, downtime for yourself in any personal time, or maybe not uh, asking for help from others is a possible theme here for you. For obstacles, guys, I think with the Page of Swords here, you have uh, maybe too many ideas or too many things on the go and you want to start something, but you feel like you never finish things if you take on too many tasks, okay? And I know that a lot of you are really creative and passionate about things and you wanna get things going and start things, um, but when you get too excited, okay, that could lead to you overburdening yourself here, okay? Lastly, Aries, we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So the advice for you really is to get assistance from others and work more in group settings, okay? This is somehow you wanting to be alone and doing it yourself and needing assistance from your peers or family members. And sometimes it's okay to ask for help uh, when you're over challenged. Okay, guys, a lot of you may be refusing this help or not willing to do uh, team related uh, commitments. Okay, so definitely open yourself up to that. If you feel like you're a bit overworked or overburdened Aries, get some help. All right, guys, let's move on to the next reading. Okay, so Taurus. What do we have for Taurus for the holidays, guys? I'm a Taurus as well, so this will be for me too, okay? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What do we have for you, Taurus? Let's cut the deck. Okay, Taurus, your situation. We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. And then your obstacle, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, and then your advice card, we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so guys, a lot of you Tauruses, Page of Pentacles in reverse, that's your situation. So it could mean that maybe you've been overspending or haven't been uh, really watching your bank accounts. For a lot of you, the situation could be maybe you've been giving too much. Perhaps you bought too many gifts and now you're kind of sitting in a negative situation and things are a bit slowing down for you, okay? So that's something that a lot of you have been uh, dealing with. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. 
Well, this could be your energy, Taurus, okay? The obstacle here is, yes, maybe indulging in too much food and materialism and you've just really overspent everything that you have, okay guys? I know the holidays, sometimes we get really carried away with things, but now it's time to really slow things back, okay? And get back into uh, the swing of things. So your advice card, Taurus, is you have the Ace of Swords. This is you now coming up with a new idea to save or doing something else to bring in more money, okay guys? Maybe you'll be spending, uh, maybe buying some stocks. Maybe it could be some cryptocurrency that you're now investing in for the new year. This will then maybe put you back into where you started off, okay? Perhaps you have been overspending and overindulging yourself, okay guys? Too many gifts, too many bad financial decisions. So guys, you're definitely coming out of this soon and you have the ideas. So whatever it is that you need to do, you know what to do. All right, Taurus, we're gonna move on to the next reading. I'm gonna shuffle this a bit more, guys. We're gonna go into Gemini. So what do we have for Gemini for the holidays? I hope you guys are doing great. So for Gemini, we're gonna draw three cards just like the other two we've just done. What do we have for Gemini? What do we need to know for Gemini? I cut the deck and draw three cards. So Gemini, your situation is going to be the three of wands in reverse, okay? Your obstacle is going to be the 10 of wands, okay? All right, and then your advice is going to be the death card in reverse, guys. Okay, so for a lot of you, your situation is you are kind of being blocked or something is slowing you down, okay? Uh, this could mean your plans were canceled for the holidays for a lot of you, Gemini, okay? You wanted to get things going and you were moving in the right direction, but then something happened and there were delays or setbacks or cancellations. Gemini, so your obstacles happens to be you being overworked or giving too much to a situation, okay? Sometimes we forget to get help from others and that is your situation right now. Maybe for some of you, you're doing too many things and uh, you're thinning out, okay? We have for an advice card for you, Gemini, is the death card in reverse. That basically means that either you're going to have to make some major changes that you're not realizing right now, or you're delaying the inevitable, okay? And the inevitable is burnout here with the 10 of wands as your obstacle. And I know you wanna get things going, but you're doing a little too much at the moment, okay? And you're gonna have to change the way you do things and reevaluate how uh, what your uh, responsibilities are and what you can do and what you can't do. Okay, guys? And that's going to be a new way uh, to approach for the coming year as well. So you can definitely take that advice for that too. All right, Gemini, we're gonna move on to the next reading. Okay, so this reading is going to be for Cancer. Cancer, what do we have coming for you in the next uh, few days and the holidays here? What have you been going through? What is the situation, the obstacles that you're going to encounter or you're encountering now and some advice for you? Cancer, what do we have for you? Cancer? Ooh. These cards are just a little big and harder to shuffle, but I do like them, guys, so I wanted to use them for the reading. Okay, Cancer, let's figure out what's coming up for you. We're gonna cut the deck and draw three cards. Let's 
do that, okay? All right, so Cancer, your situation. We have here the Seven of Wands in reverse, okay? We have an obstacle for you. What is your obstacle? It's going to be the Hermit card, okay? And then an advice card for you. It's going to be the world card, guys. Two major arcana, that's incredible. Okay, Cancer. So let's go through what you're dealing with right now. Your situation is the Seven of Wands in reverse. So you could be having to make a stand, dealing with obstacles, dealing with individuals that either are uh, becoming, putting you down or causing you difficulties and a disturbance in your life, okay? These could be family members, co-workers, uh, a spouse. Uh, you're feeling like you're losing a battle and it's becoming difficult for you to deal with the situation now, okay? And it's stressing you out a bit. We have here the obstacle is the hermit. So maybe for some of you, you've been avoiding the situation. You've been avoiding this person. You've been avoiding uh, this conflict or possibly a uh, member of that you know, okay? You've been wanting to deal with it. You've been maybe rehearsing in your mind how you want to deal with this person. And you're gaining enough uh, courage to eventually do it, okay? This isn't avoiding completely, but you've definitely uh, probably had to step back a little bit, okay? And now it's time to take away that hermit energy and go out there and figure that situation out because it's been bothering you for too long, okay? And you've been avoiding for too long now. So the advice card is the world. So in this situation for you, Cancer, basically uh, this is a cycle that's coming to an end here you're going to be dealing with this situation um, but you've definitely had enough time to think about the repercussions and you know what you need to do and this cycle will end and that'll be great because we don't want to leave any loose ends for the new year right cancer okay let's move on to the next sign we have leo what is coming up for Leo during the holidays, guys? Leo, Leo, Leo. Tell me what's coming up for Leo. So for Leo, let's figure out your situation. Any obstacle that you're encountering right now, and then also an advice card for you. Okay, Leo, I'm gonna cut the deck and see where we're at. First card, situation, we have the emperor. Okay, that's a good situation to be in. For your obstacle, we have the nine of pentacles in reverse, okay. And then your advice card, guys, it's going to be the Hierophant in reverse. Okay, Leo. So your situation could be perhaps you've been dealing with uh, an older individual or someone like a boss who's somehow uh, maybe too controlling over things. For some of you with this emperor energy, it could be that you really do prefer structure in your life and organization, okay? And doing things logically. The situation and the obstacle here, we're gonna get into this, is the nine of pentacles in reverse. So a lot of you could be uh, jealous of someone who has more uh, property and money than you or you seem to be uh, overlooking things and being trapped in the material world, okay? And perhaps this is caused by someone in your life. So it could be a partner, it could be your energy, okay? 
Maybe you're striving for perfection and you're spending all your money doing that, okay? By having more power, you're searching for power, respect, and status, you're, you're basically bleeding all your finances. The advice card for you is the Hierophant in reverse. So it really talks about having to do things a bit unconventionally this time around. So maybe prefer you prefer to spend your money a different way, or maybe you can reach a certain status or not think about status as being too important, okay? Maybe for a lot of you, it means to drop the social circles that you belong to that are toxic and creating this kind of jealousy and competitiveness that you're dealing with. All right. Okay, Leo, I hope that was a good reading for you. We're going to move on to the next sign, and that's going to be Virgo. Okay. So, what do we have for Virgo? Let's draw three cards for Virgo. Guys, I'm going to be taking a break halfway through just to get a drink, and then we're going to continue on with the next six, okay? tricky sometimes. Bear with me, guys. Okay. So what's coming up for Virgo? All right, guys, here we go. So Virgo, your situation. We have the five of swords in reverse. Okay. This could mean that you guys are dealing with some sort of reconciliation or you're getting back together with uh, or uh, resolving some sort of issues you may have with a family member, perhaps over the holidays, okay? Obstacles, guys, we have the Six of Cups. So it could be something that is from the past, or this could be from home that you're dealing with, guys. Then we have your advice, which is the Page of Swords. So let's get into this more. Your situation here involves you probably in the past having to deal with some sort of issue with a member of your family or partner or someone. Uh, this could also mean you losing out in a situation and then now having to regain that uh, in some way. So maybe you're reconciling with someone, a family member that maybe you guys had a fallout with. Uh, this could also mean you getting into something again that maybe you felt defeated about and now you're trying it again, okay? The obstacle for this situation here happens to be the Six of Cups. So this is about nostalgia, past energies, something about the home. So for a lot of you, uh, it could be you going back home and dealing with a certain individual, okay? Someone from your past as well, definitely. Okay, this is the Page of Swords for your advice. So a lot of you uh, feel like you... Um, really have to pick and choose your battles here, okay? Uh, this person could still be challenging to you, but you're handling it uh, very wisely and you're being smart about it, okay, guys? Uh, you're definitely taking things into your own hands with the situation and it's probably you that's going to resolve the matters with this individual or party that you're dealing with that maybe you've reconciled with. And you're going to be keeping things pretty light in the meantime, and that's okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the reading. We're gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna have a drink, and then we're gonna come back and do the rest of the six, okay, guys? Hi, guys, we're back, and we're gonna be doing Libra. Woo, Wish Bear is down. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, Libra, what do we have coming for you for the holidays? Coming up to the new year. 
what situation, obstacle, and advice do you need to know here? What messages do we have for Libra, guys? We're going to cut the deck this time, and I'm going to draw up the three cards. Okay, guys? Cutting the deck. And here we go. So, Libra, your situation is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. Your obstacle is going to be the Page of Swords. Okay. And then an advice card for you guys. It's going to be Temperance in Reverse. All right, Libra. So coming up for your situation, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So for a lot of you, this is a very nurturing energy, guys. You're taking care of things. You're being very practical. You're being very grounded. And that's the energy I feel for the holidays. So for a lot of you, uh, you've been helping out with things and taking care of family members and making sure everyone's been happy. And uh, you're really just a great person, okay? And it is a nice grounding energy for you. Uh, for a lot of you others, Libras, uh, it could be an earth sign that you're dealing with. So it could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Uh, and this person could be a motherly role too. So it could be, uh, it could be a father as well. It could be a mother. It could be someone in the family that you've been dealing with but there's something about them that you're dealing with in this situation, okay? So Page of Swords is your obstacle, guys. This could mean that some of you are dealing with a situation about either uh, something that's not true or gossip, or there could be some uh, maybe heated arguments or debates going on with this individual, okay? Maybe this person, uh, if, they're, if it's an earth sign you're dealing with or another individual you're dealing with, this person could be kind of coming at you or maybe bickering at you or making you do things you don't want to do, okay? And you kind of put up a fight, but you do it anyway. Uh, it's nothing too crazy, okay, that's going on for you. Uh, if this is your energy and you're going through a lot of things where you're helping people and, you know, being that nurturally energy, making dinners and hosting and doing all of that, uh, the Page of Swords obstacle could be a younger individual that you're dealing with, someone who's causing a little bit of issue and a troublemaker, and uh, that's something you could also be dealing with. Okay, guys? Uh, let's see the Temperance card in reverse. So for your situation, Libra, uh, or the advice here for you is basically uh, sometimes we take things uh, and we try to take our time, and uh, in this scenario here, it's telling you to kind of take more swift action in regards to this situation. So again, if you're dealing with some try kind of troublemaker energy, go at them and uh, kind of resolve the situation quickly, okay? Get that done, all right? And this isn't time to kind of sit back and wait a bit and uh, think about the situation. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna make the change, and then you're, or you're gonna deal with this person and you're gonna tell them what uh, you think or whatever it is you need to do, okay? for. Uh, a lot of you, if this is your uh, mother you're dealing with, okay, and the obstacle is maybe you're being uh, a little bit of a troublemaker or immature in some way and causing some sort of uh, heated debate here at the dinner table, uh, this is something you need to just work out right away, okay, guys? All right, Libra, I hope this works out for you. Let's move on to the next sign. We're going to be doing Scorpio. So, Scorpio, I'm going to be shuffling the deck for you right now. We're going to go through the same three cards. What is coming up for Scorpio for the holidays? What is coming up for Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Same thing, we're going to shuffle the deck. I'm going to Cut the deck in half, and then we're going to draw three cards for you, Scorpio. That feels good. We're going to cut the deck, and here we go. So, Scorpio, your situation. We have the seven, uh, sorry, Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay, Scorpio, for your obstacle, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Could be an individual you're dealing with fire sign even and then your advice is the 
Ten of Pentacles. Well, that's interesting. Okay, guys. So, situation-wise, we have the Eight of Pen uh, sorry, Eight of Wands in reverse. This could mean uh, some action not going through or some sort of delays happening, okay, with uh, you or your family during the holidays. Some sort of cancellations. Maybe you're planning a trip. Maybe you wanted everyone to come over for the holidays, but some people had to cancel. Or it could be just you not engaging, okay? Queen of Wands could be an individual, so this is your obstacle here. So let's first talk about if this is a person. If it is a person, then it could be a fire sign. So Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This could be a family member, parent, or a younger individual as well. Probably older energy, someone a little bit more mature. Uh, someone's basically uh, either anxious or not able to do something. Could be someone is sick or could be they're not engaging as well. So this obstacle for you would be a delay here. And then that kind of is the person that could be involved here with the obstacle causing the delay. Someone may be afraid to come visit. Some may not want to do something. Some may not want to be with certain family members. Something in that realm, okay? Then we have the 10 of pentacles, guys, for your advice card. So this is again a gathering kind of family card, I see. So for a lot of you, um, there's still going to be a lot of pleasant things happening still. So regardless of the setbacks here, you got to focus on the people that are there with you now and what matters. Okay, guys. So it's a lot of security, stability uh, and happiness and a lot of family engagement here. So whatever it is, you know, you'll always be together. And remember that if certain individuals cause any problems or delays happening here, then that's not, uh, something that's really out of your control and to focus on what you uh, are dealing with or have right now, okay? All right, Scorpio, that is your reading. We're gonna move on to the next sign, Sagittarius. What is going on for Sagittarius? I'll draw three cards for you, Sagittarius, and then move on to the next sign. So. for Sagittarius. Same for you guys, we're gonna cut the deck and draw the three cards. Okay guys, what do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, so your situation Sagittarius is the two of swords, okay? A lot of you could be indecisive about something. The obstacle in hand here is the Five of Swords in reverse. That's two swords for you. A lot of things going on in your head, okay? Dealing with people, perhaps. And then the advice card for you is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So, let's get into more detail here what's going on with you guys. So your situation could be that you're having to make a decision and you don't know what to do and this is really confusing for you. It's a lot of anxious energy. It's a lot of panic. It's a lot of confusion. Um, and you're blinded to see the truth uh, in this situation here with making this decision. You're not able to, and it's causing a lot of internal confusion. Okay. Your obstacle here for you, Sagittarius, is the five of swords in reverse. So the obstacle could be that Perhaps you were dealing with a member of your family or someone, it could be someone, your partner as well. And there could have been a falling out, but the obstacle now is maybe someone is forcing you to get back together or reconcile with an individual. It could be someone you don't get along with, okay? But someone is trying to tell you to reconcile and you don't want to, okay? And that could be the decision that you have to make and you're torn. Do I do what I feel is right and avoid this person? Or do I have to force myself to reconcile because, you know, other people are pressuring me to family members just so we can all be happy at the table. Okay. Your advice card here is the six of pentacles in reverse here. So this is about uh, giving 
okay? And perhaps you are giving in a way that doesn't really make sense if you want to deal with this individual here. The advice card is telling you basically to not conform to this, okay? And don't give in. So for a lot of you, you know, if this was the uh, in the upright, I would say go for it. Try to fix the situation, maybe offer them something, give them a, a gift or make them a nice meal or something like that. But the advice here is to not do those things, guys, and to not seem uh, fake about it, okay? So don't be like, oh, well, here's some chocolate, like hopefully you'll like me, you know? Don't go that route. Maybe deal with them in a more personal level and you guys can discuss and hopefully that will fix this obstacle with this individual that you're dealing with, okay guys? And hopefully help you with your decision, Sagittarius. All right, our next reading is going to be for uh, Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn for the holidays? What messages are for Capricorn right now? Let's get a message for Capricorn. I hope you guys are doing okay. Luckily, you skipped through to this part here. And we're almost done, guys. Let's figure out what is coming up for you for this holiday season and up to the new year, Capricorn. We're not taking flats anymore right now. We're gonna cut the deck and we're gonna draw three cards for you, okay, guys? So, messages for Capricorn. Okay, so your situation, Capricorn, we have the Eight of Cups. Could be walking away from a situation, leaving a situation, being dissatisfied with a situation. For your obstacle, we have the Hierophant in reverse. Okay. This could be a Taurus you're dealing with, who's an Earth sign, Capricorn, just like you. This could be also having to deal with uh, unconventional means, okay? So, what do we have for your advice? We have the 10 of wands. Guys, this has been coming up for a lot of signs, the 10 of wands, so a lot of you coming into the holiday, you've been overworked, stressed out, doing too much, okay? Doing too much. Okay, so for your situation, we have the eight of cups. You've had to leave a situation You've had to distance yourself from something, okay? You've had to stand your ground a bit and move away and maybe come back to the situation later, okay? You're just not, your heart's not in it right now. The Hierophant is your obstacle in reverse here, guys. So this could mean that you need to take a different approach now in dealing with this situation that you've left. Some of you, that means using more unconventional means. Uh, for some of you, Capricorn, it could mean that the people around you in your group or in your family uh, tend to have a negative effect on you, okay? And you want to uh, be accepted by everyone and you want to please everybody, but sometimes you just can't and you have to stay true to yourself, okay? The advice card we have for you Capricorn is the Ten of Wands. So in this scenario for you, uh, it's going to be probably to focus uh, on maybe doing other tasks and work and keeping yourself busy, okay? It doesn't have to be something stressful. You know, you can bake some bread or you can do some meditative coloring, okay? Which I do sometimes. Or read a book or whatever it is. Keep yourself busy from the situation and you won't feel so... Uh, so much like there's a loss here that you've had to uh, separate or distance yourself from, okay guys? Anyway, I hope that reading helped. We're gonna now move on into Aquarius, guys. So what do we have for Aquarius? Let's find out what we have for Aquarius. We're gonna shuffle the cards, guys. And we're going to do the same like everyone else. We're going to be drawing three cards. I'm going to cut the deck first and then draw three cards. Okay. So Aquarius, 
What messages do we have for Aquarius? What messages do we have for Aquarius? Okay, guys, let's begin. Aquarius, your situation. We have the Page of Wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign if this is a person. This could be a younger individual too. Doesn't have to be. Okay, we'll get into it a bit more. Your obstacle is the world card. Okay. Some sort of cycle for you. All right, and then your situation, guys, is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, Aquarius, let's get into what this is all about here for you. So, Page of Wands could be an individual that you're dealing with, like I said, could be a fire sign, so Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Aquarius, uh, if it's not that, the situation could be uh, in regards to energy. So, uh, there could be some sort of creative blocks happening with you, uh, some sort of setbacks happening for you, okay, where you're not able to move forward or continue on with what you're doing, or a project that you've been doing, doesn't have to be work, it could be something that you've been doing for the holidays, some sort of distraction, delays, or upsets, or cancellations, something to that effect, okay? If it's really an individual here, this could be someone who uh, is a little bit of a troublemaker, they could be uh, someone who maybe even uh, doesn't like to do things, so it could be someone who likes to shy away from group settings and uh, avoid people someone who's really shy okay that's your situation it could be you it could be someone you're dealing with uh, i do see for a lot of you aquarius that you've been avoiding to do things or kind of keeping back for some reason okay the obstacle here is the world so for a lot of you uh you want to go out there you want to go and do things you're curious about the world, okay? Uh, you're also coming to a full cycle now. So for a lot of you, this obstacle means that now you have to figure out what your next cycle is and stop being stuck in this moment, okay? And it can be challenging because you've been stuck in a cycle for so long and it's finishing up for you and now you're confused a little bit and this could probably be the page of one's energy here in reverse, guys, okay? Then for advice, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So for a lot of you, this means maybe not uh, to focus too much on money, okay? Maybe stop focusing on some of the material things. For a lot of you, uh, the advice here is maybe avoid looking for money and maybe money will come to you in other ways, okay? That is something that maybe we focus on too much or what can people give me, okay? Maybe what can I give back? And for some of you, the advice is maybe you're giving too much to others and now it's time to focus on yourself, okay? In, in any sense, it really is just changing up things uh, for the coming season, okay guys? So the advice here really is, yes, either stop giving too much if that's who you are and if you are the opposite and you are someone who uh, doesn't give at all, uh, it's time to start doing that, okay guys? and uh, changing that energy up for you. All right, we're gonna move on to our last, which is Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Sorry, Pisces, I know you're always last here, um, but luckily you have a chapter marker to click into, so you didn't have to wait too long. We're gonna shuffle the cards and we're gonna draw out three after I cut the deck and see what's coming up for you for from now, the holidays, and into the new year, guys. Just a quick little reading for you. I hope you enjoy. Okay, Pisces. What do we have coming up for you? What is coming up in your situation? What are your obstacles? And what advice do we have for you, Pisces? Okay, we're cutting the deck. Your situation, Pisces, is the Six of Cups. So a lot of you could be dealing with someone from the past. 
This could be some family members that you're dealing with with your situation, okay? Uh, you're coming home for the holidays and you're spending some time there for a while. It could be a week, could be a couple weeks, could be a couple days. Uh, that's what's going on with your situation right now, okay? For obstacles, we have here the Eight of Swords. So, guys, some of you are feeling trapped, Pisces. You're feeling, even though there's nostalgia going or you're coming home and you're feeling or meeting family, a lot of you feel trapped. Okay, maybe your parents are a little bit overburdening and, you know, you come home and they're treating you like you're a five year old, but, you know, you're in your 20s, 30s or 40s and you're like, mom, dad, like, come on, give me a break. Okay, that could be the energy coming up. What is the advice? It's the Knight of Pentacles, guys. So the Knight of Pentacles here teaches you either to be patient and we build on things. Okay, it could also mean uh you having to make an offer or someone having to make an offer here. So in this scenario, uh, it could be either you wanting to, uh, if you feel trapped here, okay, maybe you have to kind of ask for some sort of break or like, okay, well guys, well, I like being here and all, but maybe I'm going to go out for a day or two just for myself, okay? And take that time for yourself and treat yourself, okay? For a lot of you, it could mean that, hey, I feel like I've given enough time here and now I feel trapped. So I'm going to just, you know, maybe not leave, but I'm going to just be in my room for a couple hours just to take uh, some sort of break here, okay? For a lot of you, it could mean, hey, I'm going to go out and buy some things and try to make the best of the situation and uh, know that you know you're gonna come out of this in the long run and uh, in some ways you'll be rewarded for that even though uh, you do feel trapped sometimes okay Pisces there's a, a way out and it is a slow and steady way out patience and uh, rewarding yourself or rewarding others is a nice way to kind of fix this situation okay so I hope you enjoyed the reading we are done for today Guys, if you are interested in more readings, please like and subscribe uh, and hit notifications. I'll have another reading up again soon.